Welcome back. My name is William Frank, and I'm here today with fellow art enthusiast and co-host, Edgar Clyde. How are you this fine evening, Edgar? I'm eager to learn, Will. <laughs> like Edgar to learn. <laughs> uh, well, enough horsing around, let's get right into it. So today we'll be looking at famous artist Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was a Spanish painter, sculptor, printmaker, ceramics artist, etching artist, and writer. He was considered one of the most influential artists of the 20th century and is credited, along with George Braque, with cre the creation of the Cubism art movement. He was born on the 25th of October 1981 and spent most of his adult life as an artist in France where he created over 20,000 paintings, drawings, sculptures, ceramics, and other items until his death at age 91 on the 8th of April 1973. Picasso's work is commonly categorized into periods, which include the Blue Period, which went from 1901 to 1904, the Rose Period, which went from 1904 to 1906, where Picasso met his lover, who also influenced many of his paintings, which mainly consisted of orange and pink hues, the African Influence Period, which went from 1907 to 1909, the aesthetics of traditional African sculpture became a powerful influence among European artists and in this included Picasso. Analytical Cubism and Synthetic Cubism and during the 1910s and early 1920s a considerable amount of Picasso's work is in a neoclassical style where his work in the mid-1920s is mostly in a surrealism style. Today we will be looking at two pieces of Picasso's art. One that was painted in his blue period and in an expressionism art style, and one that was painted in a synthetic cubism art style. But first, would you like to expand on these periods, Edgar? That I would, William. Picasso's blue period spanned from 1901 to 1904. It was labeled the blue period due to the adopted monochromatic palette of blues and blue greens. These colors were used to convey somber scenes of dissonance and despair. During this time, Picasso was struggling as an unrecognized, poverty-stricken artist living in Paris. The blue period for Picasso focused on his inner turmoil shortly after his close friend's suicide. Picasso's blue period was inspired by French and Hispanic symbolist paintings, which were often created to depict monotony and despair. Picasso soon developed cubism shortly after the Rose period. Picasso's cubist paintings began in 1907 and became a frequent style throughout his career. Picasso's inspiration derived from African art and the modern street life in Paris. Through the, his newly found inspiration, Picasso became fascinated with the construction and deconstruction process which became evident in his Cubist works. Pioneered by Picasso and George Braque, Cubism was created to challenge conventional and realistic forms of art through the attribute of abstraction. Utilizing abstraction, Picasso emp emphasizes the conventions between painting and reality. Cubism transformed objects from static images to dynamic visual conventions. Cubism took two forms throughout its development, the first being analytical cubism. Analytical cubism spanned from 1907 to 1912 and focused on a utilized muted color palette of monochromatic browns, grays, and blacks. This palette depicted unemotional subjects such as landscapes and still portraits through an emphasis on open figuration and abstraction. The second addition to cubism is synthetic cubism. Synthetic cubism spanned from 1913 to 1917 and incorporated texture, patterns, text, and newspaper scraps into his works. Through synthetic cubism, Picasso re-imaged the visual effect of his original cubist technique and incorporated new materials to enhance the subject's abstraction. Astonishing. All right, let's dive right on in then. The first piece of artwork that we will look at is the old guitarist painting. The old guitarist was painted in 1903 following the suicide of Picasso's close friend, Carlos Casagamas. The painting is perhaps Picasso's most iconic painting from his blue period. The artwork was painted using oil on panel and consists of a skinny and white old man sitting against a wall while holding a guitar. The old man looks to be blind and also poor based on the way his eyes are painted shut and the ragged clothing he is painted wearing. The artwork is painted in dark shades of blue to express how Picasso was feeling at the time, which was sadness. The colour and lighting used in the artwork gives off a gloomy mood and the old man's face is painted with an almost lifeless demeanour, giving the painting an expressionism art style. 
The expressionism art style conveys emotion and meaning rather than reality. The subjects and colour are often exaggerated to provoke and express emotion, as seen in this painting. Furthermore, the old guitarist is characterised within the blue period due to its sombre scenes and miserable suggestions. Picasso's painting during the time followed depictions of feeble subjects, usually with an afflicted condition. Picasso adopted a monochromatic palette of blues and blue greens which can be seen within the portrait of the old guitarist. Another popular attribution of the period was the focus on the misfortune of subjects such as beggars, drunks and the crippled. The artworks never focused on the physicality of the injury, but the emphasis and elongates the subject's figure in order to extract a haunting beauty. The old guitarist features a blindfold, blinded old man sitting in the streets playing guitar. The scene portrayed by Picasso follows the pattern of scorned subjects and elongated features. The subject's body is positioned in an unruly way to emphasise the man's loss and misfortune. The guitarist is portrayed in a disruptive way to symbolise the spiritual vision the man has undergone due to his afflictions. Interesting. Or shall we continue to the second artwork? That we shall, William. The second piece of artwork we are looking at is Picasso's Three Musicians painting. This painting was created in 1921 and was produced using oil on canvas. Picasso painted this in a synthetic cubism style which comes from the first form of cubism which is analytical cubism. The Three Musicians is over two meters high and wide and consists of three musicians standing together made out of bright and abstract shapes. The left musician being a clarinet player, the middle one being a guitar player and the right one being a singer with some sheet music. A dog can also be seen protruding between the left musician's legs. It is difficult to tell where each musician starts and ends as the shapes they are created from intersect and overlap with each other, giving it a collage-like appearance. The painting uses emphasis on the vigorous colours, patterns and shapes to create a joyful viewer experience. This style is categorised by the patterned textures and elongated figure abstractions of the subjects. The subjects have been deconstructed into abstracted shapes which signify the entity. The three musicians feature a portrait of Picasso and two friends. Within the portrait, Picasso has painted himself wearing a harlequin garment. This was a common practice for Picasso's self-portraits and can be seen throughout his works. The colours within the painting, symbolised by the harlequin garden, represent the Spanish flag with a slight translation to the colour palette. This is reinforced through the guitar held by Picasso which further symbolises his Spanish heritage. The painting follows the synthetic cubism conventions using deconstructed subjects, abstract perspective, texturised patterns and text symbols. The deconstructed process of cubism proposes a puzzle onto the viewer. The puzzle aims to challenge the audience's perspectives and provoke questioning around the artist's abstraction. Wow, Picasso sure is versatile in his painting. They were quite different from one another, weren't they, Edgar? That they are, William. That they are. In fact, comparing the two artworks created by Picasso, the Blue Period in 1901 and the Cubist style in 1907, it is evident the styles are different but follow similar conventions. The Blue Period focuses on the spiritual aspect of a subject, extracting upon the subject's experience over their physical appearance through the exaggeration and elongating of features. The Cubist style follows similar conventions. Cubism focuses on the deconstruction and abstraction of objects to signify the outline of the subject. The deconstruction process focuses on redefining the subject in an abstracted perspective rather than what a viewer would locally see. The old guitarist is a portrait of a feeble blind man in the streets playing his guitar. The portrait focuses on the spiritual aspect of the subject rather than the physicality. Looking at the position of the man, you can see it is an unnatural hung position. This is done to extract the figure's despair through the morphology of his body. Similar, the three musicians have been deconstructed and reconstructed into a challenging perspective for the viewer. The three musicians' portrait does not portray the literal picture, but what the scene would look like deconstructed into simple forms. Wow, that's truly remarkable. Anyhow, I think that's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks for joining us. I am William Frank. And I am Edgar Clyde. And remember, have, have a picture-perfect day. day.